So this week we've been focusing on environment and how your body was created to flourish. And so far we've discussed four biblical health yep. stewardship principles. Number one, your body needs structure. And we see that in Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Yep. Number two, your body needs an eternal perspective. And we looked at Psalm 90, verse 12. Three, your body needs a grateful heart. That's 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 18. That's right. And number four, we looked at how your body needs grace. And we looked at Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14. The last biblical health stewardship principle we want to discuss with you is your body needs the right environment. You know, Psalm 119 verse 11 tells us that we should treasure God's word in our heart, that we shouldn't sin against him. You know, if you're an alcoholic, it's not good to go into a bar. Our environments have a tremendous impact on us. Even if you don't smoke, if you walk into a smoke-filled room, you're gonna reek of that smoke, again, because our environments influence and impact us in so many ways. We live in a fallen world, but part of our call as stewards and being given dominion over the earth is to cultivate it and make it a better place for everyone, ourselves included. And the Bible is rich with so many principles of how to do that. Here's just a few. Proverbs 13, 20, be wise with who you spend your time with. Uh, Proverbs 4, 20 through 22, obeying God's commands will bring health to your mind and body. 2 Timothy 2.23 tells us to avoid foolish arguments. You can find so many amazing principles to help you flourish on this side of eternity in the scriptures. In fact, in chapter five, or excuse me, week five of the Six Essentials Workbook, we cover many of these biblical principles just to give you some examples of how to flourish in a fallen world. These are just a few of the hundreds of principles you can find in scripture to really set yourself up for success and not failure. And if you haven't read the entire Bible, start giving it a shot. It's the best-selling book of all time. And if you have read the Bible, we encourage you to begin memorizing passages from it. As the psalmist wrote, your word I've hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. That's Psalm 119, 11. And living according to God's word is really gonna help you thrive. You know, the gospel reminds us that although there will be thorns on this side of eternity, with God's help, we can help create flourishing environments for ourselves and others by really trusting God and His Word. Having dominion over the earth means that we're called to steward God's creation well. And just as toxic environments can make us sick, so wholesome environments can really help us get healthy. In much the same way, healthy habits can become healthy behaviors when we keep pressing on in the Lord's strength and live by faith. Looking to Christ and His Word is going to help us flourish in a fallen world. Well, may God bless you. Yes. We hope you have a great weekend. And we really look forward to seeing you back on Monday for the last week Unbelievable. of the Six Essentials Challenge. We'll see you then. You got this.